Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Macrium Reflect to clone the HDD or the hard disk to your SSD in 2024. So we're delving today into the process of using Macrium Reflect, which is a reliable disk imaging and cloning tool to clone your HDD, which is the hard disk drive to an SSD which is solid state drive. Of course, it's much faster. Whether you're upgrading your system or improving performance, stick around as I guide you through the steps to do it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and install the Mac Rim Reflect. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with. Here in my case, here I'm using Brave, of course for you, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section. Make sure here to type Macrium, reflect, and hit the enter button. This will take you here, make sure to click on this first link, which is just has Macrium. will take you to macrium.com. Here, of course, make sure to go and click on login to log into your account. If you have an account here at the top right corner, or if you don't have an account, instead, click on Get Started for home use or for business use here on Get Started. If you don't know nothing about Reflect, Macrium, of course, keep scrolling down and you'll be able to see what people saying about it, just some general information about it. And yeah, so you'll be basically familiarize yourself a bit with it. Of course, for me as an example, I'm going to use this as a personal use. So click on Get Started uh, Home. Uh, for you, if you're using its own business, just click in here. And of course, once you do so, you'll find yourself in here. So now you can download it by simply clicking on download 30 days uh, free trial or trial. So you can try it for 30 days or you can click on buy reflect. And as you can see, they will give you two plans, annual plan or one time purchase. This is if you want one computer, this for four. This is of course for the home option. There is the business option that is has its own price. So just click on download. Of course, you'll have to see your system. As a, your system is 32 bits or 46 or sorry 64 so to know just go and open your settings click on windows i a shortcut to open the settings if you didn't know then go to this list panel click on system scroll down to the bottom go to a uh, to about and click on that and here on this device specification uh here as you can see you'll find the system type so the system type for me is 64 bit operating system so just close and click on that. As you can see, now I'll have to go and create an account. So click on register, fill out those informations like first name, last name, email, and password, and confirm that password. And click on yes if you want to receive their emails or news. And no, if you don't want to receive any emails, then click on register. Of course, you can even register or log into your account using Google or Microsoft if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. For me, I already have an account, so I'll just go and click on here, sign in with Google, and log into that account right away. For you, make sure to go and create an account, and basically you'll find yourself on this place. Of course, once that's finished, that I just click on cancel, you will find like something downloaded into your, your PC. It will be, where's the downloads? Here's it. You will be this reflex home setup. Just go and click on it. Oh, sorry, I closed brave. Just go and click on it, and you will find yourself installing it into your PC. Follow the on screen prompts or on screen instructions to until it's downloaded into your PC. Of course, you can download even like a reflex home, sites manager, reflex workstation, all of those in here. If you want to use it, you can even download the free trial. And now, of course, once you trial ended, you'll have to go and buy it once for all or keep paying dearly, whatever suits you. So here, once you uh, download it, just go and open it up and click on yes. Here, of course, what you'll need to do or the first thing that you'll need to do is simply, let me just wait for it until it's opened. So yeah, here's it. So as you can see for me, I have one, two, three, four disks in here. As you can see, I have two disks, uh, which is I'm using. This is just some USBs, as you can see from the icons in here. What you'll need to do, first of all, is simply connect your SSD to your computer. And this could be via USB to SATA adapter or by installing it internally, depending on your system setup. Ensure that the SSD has sufficient storage capacity Accommodates, of course, the data from your HDD. Also, 
of course now as an example let's say that this is our hdd and this is our ssd so what we'll need to do is simply select the source hdd whatever your hdd is as an example let's say this is my source hdd so simply have to click on it and select it as you can see if you select the whole hdd you'll find this check option instead of the option right here this if you want to just select some partitions as you can see it's uh, not like whole if you just select one you select just one partition you can select the whole of it by clicking in here if you have the check option or simply check them all now we are selecting this one so make sure for you to select the source hdd what you'll need to do now is simply go and click on clone this disk once you do so you'll be taken to this page in here or this uh, on screen prompts here and as you can see, you will have to select a disk to clone or the destination where you want to clone this HDD. Simply just go and click on select a disk and make sure to select the disk or your SDD. As I said before, make sure it has sufficient uh, memory on the SSD. Otherwise, you will not be able to do this cloning. So once you select it from here, click on next. As you can see for me, they are telling me insufficient space because I'm using them both and I don't have a lot of space on my SSD. But for you, once you click on next, the copying will start. And if you click on finish, you, the cloning will start and you will have to wait a bit until the cloning finished and you will receive the um, message that the cloning is finished. Now, you can just so an optional, another optional thing. You can, of course, like adjust the partition sizes if necessary. You can adjust the partition sizes on the SSD even before like cloning. Macrium Reflex will allow you to resize partitions to better fit the SSD capacity. You can adjust partition size by dragging boundaries or entering specific sizes into your SSD. Now, you can also review, or once you finish the cloning, you can review the cloning option as an example. So for me, it's already like, it has a lot of things on it. But for you, you will have to look, is your HDD, HDD is cloned on uh, SSD. You can see it's from here. Or if you don't know, you can simply open the file manager and go as an example to this PC and you will find your HDD and SSD. And you will see as an example, the if your SSD is full of storage, of course, if you connect this, make sure it's empty. It's better, of course, to have a lot of uh, storage on it. And if it is, yeah, like already congratulations for you. You're done with everything. Now you can simply wait for the clone until it's finished. If it's not finished, of course, if it's finished, congratulations. There you have it. You successfully learned how to use this Macrium Luflex to clone it, the, your HDD into your SSD. So thank you for watching and goodbye.